Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, I just thought I'd do a, uh, a video that basically just covers a few things that I have discussed in different tutorial videos. And now that I've sort of been doing a few streams on Twitch, I've uh, been getting some feedback from people. And I don't know, a bit of a refresher course on maybe and a summary on a bunch of things uh, that I've been doing. So I've just got a loop here and um, I think I've mentioned before that if you subscribe, uh, I'll give you like a free template which you can record vocals in. There's a bit of a, just to help you, just to set you up uh, if you're recording vocals at home. And basically that template is where this uh, song that I've got open right now, or just not really, it's not a song. Um, it's just, <laughs> it's just a bit of a scratch pad at this point in time. But um, this is where I sort of am building it from, from that very same vocal template. Uh, I've got a vocal sample in here as well. I've got a drum loop, um, some chords, that kind of thing. This is probably going to end up being maybe a longer, uh, this is probably going to end up being a Twitch stream, perhaps. I'm not sure. But just anyway, a refresher course on uh, sidechain again, uh, on the bass, how to sort of sidechain your bass. So I've got a, I was going to play this bass and drums here. sure if they're perfectly on time so I'm just going to quantize them to be sort of a little more there you go they're kind of all snapped as you can see some of the lengths there on those uh, notes aren't quite going to the end so and that one there didn't quite catch it all right yeah, we can change that baseline um, I'm more than likely will so we basically want to get the bass out of the way of the kick drum now i don't have a kick drum per se in this track uh, i've got a, a drum loop and if you do look at the waveform there uh, a majority of the, the the kick is quite big uh it takes up a lot of the room and a lot of real estate in this in the uh in the wave file there but um so what i'm going to do is try and just trigger uh this bass sidechain uh, from that drum loop. So I'm just going to put a compressor, Logic's compressor. Actually, I think most of the plugins I have in all are all Logic stock plugins as well, just to make it easy for you guys. Uh, and the sidechain is going to, I basically want that PP live loop to be my sidechain. Uh, if I had a kick drum, I would pick that. Uh, and now I'm just going to tweak that. It's kind of behaving, it's reacting to this the snare and the kick drum, which isn't ideal. Uh, another way to quickly maybe fix this issue is to maybe just if we render that file to a new track, and we'll just call this kicks. And now, as you can see, it's got the kicks, and we can just go in there. You know, we can even actually just. It's currently mono, we don't want to put any effects on it. And don't even have to have any output on it, to be honest. Uh, and then we can just go find the kick drums. Oh, might need the loop back on for that. Should be it. I'm not sure if this microphone stand is uh, dropping, but anyway. Uh, and now we're just going to change that side chain input to that new track, which is Audio 4. We could just label that again, make it a little bit easier for ourselves. So now it's SC. And now I'm going to be triggering just 
the bass just from those kick drums. There's a little bit of latency there in the visual. Always trust your ears. Okay, so that is Sidechain. Um, another thing, I just wanted to quickly run through the reason why I like this vocal template I've got. Uh, is that what I've done is basically I've set up three buses uh, and they have effects on them. Let's quickly show you. So all my tracks here um, have got bus one, two, and three set up on them just as standard. And on those buses, we've got, I put reverb, delay, and a little bit of mod, and all these are in the template. And they're just a little bit of vocal doubling, reverb, and delay, which you'll typically add on a vocal. Uh, so I'm just going to play that vocal now. That's, so that's dry and I'm just going to add in the reverb element. I can pretend don't understand this is something it's add in the delay. I can pretend don't understand this is something it's and a little bit of the mod. I, I can pretend don't understand this is something it's and just a little thing that you may want to do is you know maybe you might want to add some other effects to that so if you just double click on that if you just double click as you can see it quickly snaps to uh, the corresponding bus that you are wanting to edit so example that delay um, there's two ways, I guess, to get rid of the top end on that. You can either put an EQ before that delay. So let's try that now. I can pretend don't understand this is something it's Maybe you want to put it after. I can pretend don't Whatever it really sounds better. I mean, it's always good to check these things with everything on, so... I think is that with the mod? Yeah, that's there. That's, so that's with everything on. Um, so that's. I just wanted to kind of run through the sends, and you can just you know if you want to put the drums through that as well, uh, put a bit of reverb on there, or maybe you want to put a little bit of that mod on there. So that's how we're doing the sends. Um, just going through my little list here of things I want to sort of work through. Uh, the send effects, um, the plug-in order as well is, you know, example of, I've got um, a couple of plugins on that drum loop and just experiment with um, your plug-in order. You can, it's quite easy to just swap them around in Logic. I can sort of do it while it's playing. And you, you, know, you need, I guess, fairly good headphones. You're not really going to hear those differences through uh, like laptop speakers or anything. So let's just put a little bit of dirt on there. So that sounds so different now. So I prefer kind of that order there. Actually, I might even just try this way. Yeah, let's go with that order there. Okay, so that's another thing I just want to run through is uh, plug in order. Um, the vocal sends on my template that I'm giving away. Uh, side chain on the bass. And that was about it, I think, for now. Um, I'm going to be running, doing something with a, uh, some going through a track as well shortly. Um, just like a bit of a, a walk through an old song that I've kind of rehashing. And that's fairly built, but um, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to have a look through all those parts. And I hope that has been helpful. 
And again, thanks for all the new subscribers. Uh, and as always, have fun making music. Cheers.